is good people we're back with another video and today we're talking about the chakras let's jump straight into this because i know there's been a lot of requests for this video so let's jump straight into this so you have seven chakras right seven chakras and these chakras are feeding off your electromagnetic field known as your aura this is both positive and a negative pole male and female right this electromagnetic field is made out of electric and magnetism, and together they come as electromagnetic. Now, your chakras, the word chakra just means wheel, spinning wheel, because that's what they are. They are spinning wheels of energy. They, are, they do not exist on this physical plane. They, they exist on the etheric plane. Okay. Now, these energy centers are known to regulate your emotions and each energy center controls the organs and cells in that particular area of the body so for example your sacral chakra will control the cells and organs of your uh, sexual reproduction area okay the, the navel chakra or solar plexus will control the digestion in your body same with the heart, same with the throat, right? So they are like mini brains for each center of your body. They run along up the spine, but notice the crown chakra exists outside the body. It's just above the head. Now, this process of the chakras is obviously the seven colors of the rainbow. Starting from red, which is the lowest vibrational color, all the way to violet which is the highest vibrational color this like i said these energy centers are feeding off your electromagnetic field so if these chakras are unbalanced they are taking too much energy from your electromagnetic field making it weaker now this is the north pole as you all know the earth is flat and we live inside of a giant torus field and the North Pole is the Earth's heart chakra. And this is why the Aura Borealis or the Northern Lights, whatever you want to call them, that's why they are green and they are being emitted from this center point of the Earth because it's symbolizing the heart chakra, which is green, right? Now, you do work your way up to these. However, this is a Taurus field. You are a Taurus field. You have different layers of this Taurus field, right? And you need to balance all of these chakras, but you can't move up these chakras until you open the one below it. So it's like a it's like a stairway. You can't go to your solar plexus without going through your sacral. You see? So you have to work up these. However, you have to work up these and then live from the heart because the heart is the center of the Taurus field. It's the balance between male and female poles, positive and negative poles. So you have to balance all of these chakras and then bring them all into one, which is the heart chakra. Now, they exist on the etheric plane. They exist on the etheric plane and the etheric plane is a layer of the material plane it's the one higher than the material plane and then after the etheric plane it melts into the astral plane so they exist just between the physical and the astral aspect now this is the yin and yang matter which is the lowest root chakra physical matter and then to spirit because high vibrational matter turns into spirit low vibrational spirit turns into matter so they're inter interchangeable this is the yin and yang now when you see ancient paintings with the halos you see this is like a toroidal field coming out the top of his head you see with a halo this is this was symbolizing in the old days in the ancient days that they've aligned their chakra they've reached they've reached christ consciousness which is god consciousness right now this electromagnetic field is the 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 
the apple that we bit out of in the Bible. Because you see that apple is a Taurus field. So they were metaphorically or personifying the Taurus field. That's what the Bible is. It's a massive personification. It's all metaphors. You have to read it properly. It's got a greater meaning behind it. Now, when we bit from the apple, we ate from the tree of knowledge, which is good and evil. Our lower mind took over, so we materialized to feed our physical bodies. We materialized through Saturn. That's what Saturn does. Now, if you don't understand that, go and watch the video previous to this one called Occult Secrets of Saturn. And that will show you how Saturn is the materializer. Now, this is one of the secrets behind the Masonic compass, electric and magnetic, male and female, duality, positive and negative. Now, like I said, they teach you about the Taurus field, about a magnet in school, but they don't teach you about your electromagnetic field. Everything alive has a Taurus field. It is the, it is the building block of this creation. Absolutely everything has a Taurus field. There's not one thing without it. And as you can see here, the center of the apple, that's where the seed is. That's where the life is. The reproduction of that, of that, of that organism. As you see, this is where the most electromagnetic energy is stored in the center, because this is where the two duality, this is where the field meets at the very center. This is why the seed is at the very center. Now, your, th your, uh, your spine, your spine is a elongation of the brain. The brain is heaven. And the bottom of the spine is hell. So this is Saturn, which is the root chakra. The seven planets are associated with each chakra. Moon equals mind. Okay. Now Saturn is physical matter, as I've just explained. This is the lowest vibrational color. And they want you trapped down here, which is your hell state, your animal nature, your physical nature. They want you to identify as the physical body. They don't want you to reach these higher states of consciousness. Okay. Now, in the brain, you have 12 convolutions. Now, this is what they were symbolizing in the Bible with the, with the 12 disciples. And obviously in the Bible, it says the upper room where Jesus met with his disciples. This is heaven, the brain the higher states of consciousness. Now, this is your North Pole. This is Jacob's Ladder. Okay, This is why you have 33 levels of Freemasonry, because it's symbolizing the 33 vertebrae, which are these little things here on the back of your spine. Because once the Kundalini energy from the bottom of your spine rises to the top, this is when you get enlightenment and opens your third eye. Spiritual enlightenment. As you can see here, this is Jacob's ladder. This is the Kundalini symbol, right? And they're even showing you this in the medical symbol. They're putting it in your face. But the serpents are wrapped around the, the spine. Now the serpents symbolize how the energy moves around the spine because it's a Taurus field, you see? At the center of the Taurus field, it wraps around the center pole. It wraps around it, and this is how the energy moves up. So they're symbolizing it with the serpents. Okay. Now, every religion has a sacred river. For the Egyptians, it's the River Nile. For, for, for Christianity, it's the Jordan River, right? This river is the canal, the energy canal at the center of your spine all the way leading to heaven to the holy land this is the, the this is the chamber which the energy rises up right now they used to say that gods descended from heaven to man this is just heaven this is the mind state and they said the gods were connected by a rainbow bridge that's the chakra system the rainbow bridge okay now the ancients called this place midgard earth where both evil and good live, right? Midgard. But you can go to heaven, which is a pure mind state, because once you're in heaven, nothing negative can ever bother you. That's completeness. 
pure Christ consciousness. Now, this is why Jesus dies at 33. He didn't actually die, but it's symbolizing the death of the physical body. Not the death, not the death of the physical body, but his consciousness rising above the physical body to, as I said here, matter to spirit. Matter died off and he came spirit consciousness. This is symbolized by the 33 vertebrae, which is obviously the 33 levels of Freemasonry. And now the pineal gland, which is at the very top of this Jacob's ladder or the River Jordan, the canal, your, your 33 vertebrae on your spine. This is where the pineal gland sits, right? At the very top, at the center of your brain. Now, there's multiple ways this was symbolized. The eye of Ra, which is the, used by the Egyptians. Now, this pineal gland is the seat of consciousness. This is where your consciousness is stored, right? And the ancient Sumerians used the pine cone, hence why it's got the word pineal gland the seat of the soul consciousness, it produces DMT, dimethyltryptamine, which is known as the spirit molecule. And the pineal gland is wrapped in micro crystals. And we all know crystals trans transfer frequency and energy. Now, radios use crystals. A radio is a, a frequency transmitter turning a frequency into a one into a frequency that we can hear with it with our ears right because all the radios are actually playing right now in your ears however our ears can't pick it up so the radio transmits it into a frequency that we can hear using crystals so this is the power of crystals and this, this is what our third eye is wrapped in crystals now this third eye is not actually your third eye, it's your first eye. When you're being materialized in your mother's womb, this is what, the, this is the first gland that is produced and everything's built around it because it is the consciousness. It is your consciousness. Your consciousness never dies ever. It's an eternal essence. It lives forever. You never actually die. Only the mortal body dies. Now that's what we call life. Life is abided by time. And time is change. And change is what we call life. Because everything's constantly moving and transforming into different things, right? Now let's not get off track. The, the pine cone is obviously, this is in the Vatican here. The pine cone is symbolized as the pineal gland. Pine. And this is the opened pine cone. The opened pine cone means or symbolizes the awakened man, the awakened third eye. But the ones here, which the Sumerian gods are holding, these are shut pine cones symbolizing the unawakened man. But let's not get confused, people. These gods were not gods. They are human beings just like you. They reached Christ consciousness. They are nothing more special than you. They just had the ability to reach Christ consciousness. And obviously their knowledge was far more intelligent than ours, far more advanced than ours. They knew the truth about this reality to the depths. Now the ancient Hindus had a goddess called Kundalini, which is said that she descended by the means of a ladder or a cord from heaven, which is symbolizing the spinal cord. Now, this is what Hickory Hickory Dock, the mouse went up the clock and came back down. This is all these stories like Santa as well. Santa comes up and then down the chimney. This is symbolizing the Christ oil. There's an oil which is produced in your pineal gland, right? And this oil travels down the spine. And once it's down on the spine, you must have to raise your consciousness, just like I said, with the, with the chakras. You have to raise your consciousness, raise your vibration to heat up this oil and turn it into a gas. And it travels back up the spine through like the, like the serpents up the spine 
and this awakens the third eye once it's coming back up the spine and hits the pineal gland. This is the, this is the, the secret behind Santa and Hickory Hickory Dot, because Santa comes down and feeds the presents and goes back up the chimney. And he lives in the North Pole, the positive pole. This is the North Pole, people, and the presence is your sacred oil. This oil, your physical body is the furnace, it's the spiritual furnace, which you have to heat up this oil by raising your frequency and turning it into a gas to rise up this chamber, the River Jordan, to your third eye, right? Now, this is an alchemical process. Your body is the alchemical furnace. It says in the Bible, if therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be filled with light. I shouldn't have uh, cut that out, but that's what it says. The light of the body is thine eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy eye shall be filled, their body shall be filled with light. This is symbolizing the pineal gland enlightening the body, the spiritual body, filled with light. Now, as I said, they want you kept down here, which is the root chakra, which is your animal nature, which is obviously mind, uh, matter over mind. This is the symbol of Saturn, right? As you say, we're built of body, mind and spirit, the Holy Trinity. That is the sun, moon and earth. The sun's your soul, soul law. Moon is your mind. Earth, which is the cross, which is your physical body, the five elements, right? So body, mind and spirit. So the Saturn symbol is actually made out of the cross on top, which is the earth and the moon on the bottom, which is symbolizing matter over, over mind because earth is physical matter. You don't want to be matter over mind. You need to be mind over matter. See, they want you identifying as your physical body. They don't want you to realize you're an eternal consciousness. You're an eternal essence of consciousness, which never dies. They want you trapped in your animal nature. And this is why the Baphomet has a goat head because it's symbolizing your animal nature, which is evil. Not evil, but you're more likely to, to do evil things, right? Which brings bad karma. That's your animal side. This is why the Baphomet has an animal goat head. As you can see here, he's got the Kundalini energy here. So when you see the inverted cross, the cross is your body, as you can see here. The inverted cross means your chakras downwards, down here, your head's down here, your mind is down here, but your mind needs to be up here, which is the upwards cross, which is Christ consciousness. And as we all know, seven colors of the rainbow, seven planets, seven chakras. Red light is low frequency and long range. This is why Saturn is the slowest moving celestial body. And it's the lowest chakra because it's low frequency, long range. The moon being the crown chakra, which is high frequency. This is why the moon moves around the quickest. The moon is your crown chakra, which moon in mind. See, so, so there are multiple ways of your chakras be becoming blocked. Now, each chakra has a specific intelligence. It has a specific thing that it's doing for the body, right? Now, this can be overused. It can be abused. For example, masturbation. That keeps you down here in your sacral chakra because you're abusing that energy center. You're abusing your sexual energy, which is then becoming unbalanced. So this is how energy, uh, this is why these centers are pulling more energy out your electromagnetic field, because these centers are wheels. The chakras just mean spinning wheel of energy. So when you're abusing th these certain centers, you're pulling energy out of your electromagnetic field, which is making your field weaker, which is making your frequency lower, which is makes you prone to uh, diseases, prone to lower negative energy, right? So you need to align these chakras. You need to unbalance them. And as you can see here, you can screenshot these to, to see how they're blocked. I'm not going to go over each one because it'll take me forever, but have a little read yourself. This is why they're blocked. Now, the ancients used to say, oh, when they meditated. Now, these are the seven vowels. 
there's not five vowels, there's actually seven. Now, when they say Aum, they're aligning all their chakras by saying this when meditating. This is where the Aum originated from. Now, emotion is energy in motion. So if you're feeling a certain way, that's the energy you've put in motion. It's a reflection. We live in a mirror reality. Everything's mirrored. Everything's mirrored. As within, so without. As above, so below. Everything's a reflection of some sort. So whatever whatever you're feeling, you're, you're doing something wrong. It's telling you, you you're, you're doing something wrong from the root cause. Because your energies are the, the effect. You're feeling the effect of something you've caused. The law of cause and effect. Nothing escapes it. Now the Jehovah's Witness believe that exactly 144,000 faithful Christians go to heaven or be resurrected, right? This is not true. This is symbolic. 144,000 go to heaven. Now the petals on the, on the chakras, this is the root chakra, this is the crown chakra. Now, if you add up the first five chakras, the petals, add up the petals on, on the first five chakras, you get 48. And then you get to the third eye, which has two petals. 48 times two equals 96. 96 plus 48, which you got from here, equals 144. The last chakra has a thousand petals. Times 144 times a thousand, you get 144,000. This is a frequency. This frequency is the frequency of the ascension up your chakras. This frequency is, this is a high, high frequency, which turns that oil into gas which rises up the spine activating your third eye right so this is all all the religions are all symbolic for this uh sacred secret of christ consciousness as it says in the bible the kingdom of god is within it's not out there people you must look within yourself you are god you are a spark of his consciousness infinite confident consciousness right so 144,000 is a frequency and you must achieve this. Like I said, these people in the past, they're not God's people. These were just humans. Nothing special. They just reached Christ's consciousness. Now, they keep you in these lower vibrational states with the food, right? And as you can see here, all of these fast food restaurants are main, mainly are red and yellow which are these lower states, these lower two chakras, lower vibrational mm -hmm. colors, because they want you trapped down here in matter. And these foods are so low vibrational, they will keep you down here because your gut produces, I think it's like 80% of melatonin. Melatonin is your feel good hormone. These foods will not make you feel good. This is very low vibrational mm -hmm. meat. It's not meat. It's, it's, it's raw flesh. These animals are stripped from their family, put on a conveyor belt, watch their friends be tortured and then get, and then get slaughtered in a slaughterhouse. Think of all the fear that's running through their, through their blood, all the hormones, all the fear. And you're going to go and eat that very low vibrational energy. As you can see here, this is the light photons within fruit. You can see the light, the life force in this fruit. You must think, feel and do. Positive to raise your vibration. As you can see, earth equals heart. If you rearrange it, everything in nature is green, right? The all about reality is green. You must align all these chakras and then live from the heart. Because the heart's the center of the tallest field. You must become the consciousness in the center. So that's it for this video, people. <laughs> Thank you all. God bless.